the presidential libraries have become very important in the United States in terms of serving as repositories for preserving and making available the papers, records, collections, and other historical materials of every president of the United States since Herbert Hoover, who was a 31st president of the USA. Well, the interesting news is that Nigeria might just be on the path of having its own presidential libraries. If you saw the Short Channels Book Club report on books written by past Nigerian presidents, I'm sure you would easily guess who is blazing the trail in terms of creating a presidential library in Nigeria. Here's a short report on Nigeria's first presidential library and the former president behind it. Here in Nigeria, and 12 years after he first conceived the idea of leaving behind the records of the past for future generations, former President Ulusheko Basanjo becomes the first African leader to open a presidential library on the continent. The event also coincides with his 80th birthday celebration. Dignitaries from within and outside Nigeria converge on Abiokuta, the urban state capital, and the cradle of Western education in Nigeria. Inside the hall, a true picture of the roll call leaves no one in doubt about the personality of Chief Obasanjo. Co-chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Olusegun Basanjo Presidential Library Foundation, Dr. Kolade, is excited at the potential of the project, which boasts over 4,000 artifacts, about 2 million materials and books, and 15 million pages of documents. Through these items, we already have sufficient capacity to cater to the research needs of scholars and students from all over the world. State Governor Senator Ibukunle Amosum is also proud that this vision adds another feather to the state's cap. Without my son's word, our dear state, Ogun State, is proud to host this legacy as a center for social, political, and economic think tank and researches. For Nigeria's acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, Nigeria has a lot to learn, especially from its past mistakes. It is one sure way of preserving the lessons, the failures, and the successes of the past, just so that we can approach the future with more sure-footedness and less pain. President of Liberia and chairperson of the occasion, Mrs. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, is proud that this is happening in her lifetime. We take pride that this is our own history, your own history, your nation's history, made, recorded, presented, and graphically displayed by ourselves, by yourselves through these structures for prosperity. History will bear truth to this precedent-setting presidential initiative. And then former President Obasan Jolt tells the audience about his vision for the library. We have a mission to preserve the past, capture the present, inspire the future, sustain our culture, and encourage tourism. The Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library currently boasts an archive section, a center for human security, and an institute for African collaboration and international understanding. Nigerians, Africa, and the world over can only continue to benefit from the wealth of the resource contained in this edifice.
Recently in Lagos, a book titled Touching Lives Through Psychology was launched in honor of a distinguished Nigerian. Here's a report on how the launch went. Come up with this book. A hall filled with guests from the academia. To history. The sporting world. Traditional institutions. Family and friends of a man who has dedicated his life to the course of psychology. Professor Olatunde Makundru. For Professor Makondru, it's been 42 years of scholarship and mentoring in psychology at the University of Lagos. To honor him, a book titled Touching Lives Through Psychology is publicly unveiled. With contributors writing a chapter each, the 345-page book has 21 chapters with topics such as psychology plus sports equals Makondru, social basis of behavior, what is mental health, insights from positive psychology, and a commendation for Professor Tunde Makondru, among others. This is a comprehensive account of Professor Olatunde Makondru as a researcher, teacher, mentor, and administrator. Make is a man of many parts, an enigma of no mere repute. One book is not big enough to unravel him. I consider this effort to be volume one. I look forward to other volumes. Why I encourage that this volume should also be revised in no distant future. Several dignitaries at the event share pleasant experiences in their relationship with the professor. I want to seize the opportunity to congratulate you for your consistency in academic excellence. I don't know how to say it. 42 years in one university, I'm sure those of my age will not be that consistent. On behalf of the Nigerian Psychological Association, I want to felicitate with you. I want to congratulate you. I want to associate myself with the students that you taught at Unilag. Uh, for over 42 years to say that you are a mentor indeed. And Professor Makonju, flanked by his wife Victoria, receives an award for diligence in academic mentoring from the Nigerian Psychological Association. Congratulations. Sir. Honestly, words cannot describe how I feel. Uh, I'm so happy that they didn't call me out, come and speak, otherwise I just have broken them. It has just been, you know, wonderful, unexpected. You know, it's like, this is your life. And I thank God for the little bit that one has been able to contribute. As it's been part of him, he did not let the day pass by without touching on the need for psychology in human endeavors. It's like a cliche that our normally is that anywhere where human beings are involved, psychology is involved. Because psychology is just the scientific study of behavior. And anything that involves behavior, psychology must be involved. Professor Olatunde Makonju studied psychology at both the University of Lagos and King's College, University of Aberdeen, Scotland. He joined the teaching staff at the University of Lagos on March 1, 1975. He has authored and co-authored over 60 scholarly papers in both local and international journals, as well as book chapters. In addition, the professor has two books to his credit. This is where we have to call it a wrap on today's episode. As always, we look forward to hearing from you through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. I am Olakule Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.